Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Science here. I hope everybody's well. So, friends, what are we throwing them down for? I should probably look at that, shouldn't I? Um, Taurus, you guys are next. All right, Taurus, November round two. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will do whatever you choose to do with a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. It's thrown down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. If it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, I encourage you to just leave the cards to one table and walk away. It is general. It might not be for you. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher though this really isn't meant for cross watchers if you can take something out of it cool you're more than welcome to but this is going to go more into Taurus's strengths and weaknesses and how they can use them in a situation two of wands reverse decided to fall out some of you might be at a crossroads in your life right now we'll see if it comes back out but like i said you know cross watchers you're more than welcome to hang out and watch it's cool if you're new here, I think you might want to come by more and stuff. You can subscribe button the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome. I missed your face. Where you been? I know you're probably asking yourself the same thing. It's okay. I haven't been uploading as much. I've been battling the arthritis. I've been sick. I've been just piled with life stuff other than the tarot channel. So, I mean... It is what it is, right? Anywho, 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 anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the video to be circulated to those who might need the message. So, okay, one more thing to go over before I invoke the cards and throw them down. Never make a life-altering decision based on a terror rating. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. It's, it's just a horrible idea. Just don't do it. Okay, let's throw them down for Taurus. November round two. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask you a message you for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Taurus to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, Taurus? The moon! The moon! You could be dealing with the Pisces. Sorry, drinking Diet Pepsi. I'm coffeeed out for the day. Oh. It's an air of mystery with this card. And things aren't always illuminated as well in the moonlight as they're in the sunshine, are they? I think some of you are walking a path you're not quite sure where you're going. What's your strength? Four of Wands reversed. Hmm. What's your weakness? Three of Pentacles reversed. Mm. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Four of Cups reversed. It sounds more like what you don't want. We're just going to go with it, though. What you got to let go of. Judgment reversed. What's coming in? Ten of Swords reversed. I'm not liking this at all, guys. Okay. What are you going to do? They of Wands reversed. What's the outcome? The devil. It's at the bottom of the deck. The King of Swords reversed. Emotional decision making. Hmm. Oh, boy, Taurus, do I need a fat dose of clarity right now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The path is not lit. Things are not yet clear. Things aren't yet clear for the terror reader either, let me tell you. Talk to me about this Four of Wands reverse for Taurus' strength, please. Three of Pentacles upright.
Four of Cups upright. Well, okay. Hmm. No matter how fat, no matter how bad things seem. Every time the tower gets knocked down, you rise up, you rebuild. This Four of Cups tells me. I'm hearing, feeling, and sensing don't make the same mistake twice, but let me just throw one more on that. That might be it for some of you, but one more clarity. Eight of Wands. Okay, this is just getting weird. This is now officially getting weird. Talking through it, moving through it, doing what's necessary. Two of Pentacles, finding the healthy balance. Finding healthy balance, making decisions with balance, making decisions. What's going to benefit us the best? Ability to have conversations and talk through things, ability to collaborate. Contemplating through offers. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here for the weakness? Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords. Of wands, combative energy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <sighs> it's a whole lot of hot headed combative energy with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords sitting there. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. That's com No matter what the tower brings down, it's the ability to rebuild <laughs> and make balanced decisions. You have the ability. I think combativeness gets in the way sometimes. I think if too much is thrown at you, you just get very combative and you shut down and nothing happens. Because the path is not lit. You don't have enough information. Oh, shit. Okay, what do you want? Talk to me about this four of cups reversed. Holy shit. Okay. Hmm. Eight of cups reversed. Oh, boy. Hold on. Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. of wands. That tower fell for a reason. You want something to return to you? 
somebody's not making you an offer, you're obsessed. You're obsessed. And I think you're obsessed because you like clarity. A tower fell. And you've choked your way through it. You've rebuilt. That one time. There was this one time somebody got a little hot headed. Too much was thrown at him at once. Somebody got a little hot headed and, and it crumbled. It crumbled. And it's become this weird toxic obsession because you want it to return to you and it's not. One more. One more. One more. Ten of Pentacles. For whatever reason you think this is going... So you want money? Compensation? Compensation? You want your dues. You want somebody to pay their dues. Could be literally, like with actual money, or just energetically pay their dues. Or you want to pay your dues. This just got very weird. What's up with this judgment reversed for what's got to go? Five of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Three of Swords reversed. Universe has already made a judgment call on this. Yes, you miss it, but getting it back isn't going to unbreak your heart. I need one on this Queen of Cups, please. One on the Queen of Cups. Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Whatever you're holding on to, because you love it and you want it back. Hmm. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Wanting it back is what is holding you back. A need for retribution is what is holding you back. The toxic obsession. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hell bent. Hell bent. Why is the Ten of Swords here for what's coming in? Why the Ten of Swords reversed? High Priestess. Justice, okay. I saw it in the upright first, okay. Magician at the bottom of the deck. You have got to be careful with this. I'm telling you that right now. Justice speaks of karma. So it's actually justice karma. I think with the calling of this back in, magician calling it back in, it's going to bring up a lot of pain. Because this was a painful cycle that never ended for you. 
And I think a lot of things are going to be drudged back up again by calling this back in. Because you were never able to let it go. One more. This is going to be a conflict. I don't know who's going to pop it off in a conflict, but whoever innocently reaches out is going to get an earful. Hard to say who's going to do what. What you got to do it wands reversed. I'm hearing feeling do not engage, but we're gonna we're gonna throw a clarifier in on it anyway. King of Cups Maintain emotional control. He is not someone who wears his emotions out on his sleeve. There's all there's there's a reason why he only has half a cup. Okay, <laughs> the cup the cup's there. There's emotion in it, and he's able to control it. Six of Swords. It, it's best to just not engage and move on. Just throwing that out there. The outcome is the devil. A continuation of an obsession. One on this devil, please. The burden remaining, not being able to be released. But there's temperance. One more. The hermit. Temperance and the hermit and the devil and the ten of wands reversed. That tells me that eventually at some point, peace will be made and balance will be restored. And you will separate from it. But, one more. And for some of you, this may just be a path that you got to walk. Two of Cups. That's not such a cute Two of Cups. That could be a long road to reunion. Or even cooperation. What's at the bottom of the deck? Old cycles closing, new cycles beginning. It's the will of the year. Faded, faded events. Faded events. This could be something new finally starting for you that's outside of this. You need to release yourself from the toxic obsession. I'm not feeling cute reunion off of that. I'm feeling new start. I'm feeling old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. 
but you need to emotionally release. You need to accept that you're not always meant to know. I need an oracle on this. Number 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. Hmm. That's interesting. That would pick fork in the road. Hmm. 13. Every choice is a consequence. You've, deri you've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the well-worn path by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Okay, I'll buy that. All right, Taurus, hope it helped somebody. This has been your reading. Know that you're loved, be blessed, and I will catch you guys in the next.